Cameras on Android and iOS phones have improved a lot in terms of hardware. Now you can shoot with mobile phones like professional cameras. But phone camera applications have limited features as standard. You may need to use different applications to have full control over phones. Today we will review the most ambitious application for video. The name of the application is Filmic Pro. Now let's examine the controls in the app together. There are two controls above the camera image in the form of a circle and a square. The circle control allows you to control the ISO value. You can set the correct brightness value by dragging it to different points on the screen. This way you can prevent your video from shooting dark or overly bright. The square-shaped control allows you to focus on the desired point in the video. When you tap this control once, it turns red and stops focusing. On the right edge of the screen, there is a volume and video recording button. On the right side of the screen, there is a control that you can drag back and forth that allows you to zoom in and out. This control, located in the upper left corner of the screen, allows you to change the focus options. When we change the focus option to manual, the ability to adjust manual focus and manual ISO is activated. When the reticle focus option is selected, controls for focus and ISO adjustment appear anywhere on the screen. When you activate the grid option in the upper right, the screen is divided into strips. This feature will allow you to capture the video more smoothly. When we change the focus option to manual, the ability to adjust manual focus and manual ISO is activated. When the reticle focus option is selected, controls for focus and ISO adjustment appear anywhere on the screen. When we enter the video tab from the settings option, we see two options as encoding and frame rate. In the encoding section, there is the ability to adjust the aspect ratio of the video, the resolution of the video, the bit depth of the video, the bit rate of the video, the video encoding option, noise reduction, and sharpness. In the frame rate section, there is the video F setting and time lapse feature. In the audio section, you can manipulate the audio devices and the audio settings of the video in detail. There are features you need to make detailed audio settings. In the Hardware tab, select Video External Output Resolution and Gimbal. In the Device tab, there are Location Tag and Remote Control features. The Presets section allows you to save presets and load previously saved settings. The Eyes feature in the Stabilization section is the Electronic Stabilization feature. When you press the Lens button on the bottom left, you can select other lenses on the phone. You can use other cameras on the phone with the Lens Change button at the bottom left. This way you get wide angle or closer up images. This control you see on the screen allows you to have more control over the video with different coloring options. This way you detect changes in sharpness, clarity, and color in your video. When you touch the other control in the lower left, you can understand whether you have captured the video clearly with the coloring options. When we open the color control in the lower left part, white balance, color temperature, and color saturation features appear. In this section, there are ready-made options such as bulb, fluorescent lamp, cloudy weather. From these components, you can interfere with the shadow and light setting and record the video without color. These operations provide more flexibility and color control when editing video. In this section, you can adjust the color saturation settings. There are also presets in this section. You can make automatic color adjustment by selecting the appropriate settings for you. We have examined together the features found in this application that you will need the most. Hope the video is helpful. See you in the next video.